Hmm. It's hard to explain just how strange it is to be a YouTuber who documents his life when his life isn't going super picturesque. <laughs> it's a it's a it's a tough thing to relay in words. That being said, I've been hiding naturally given the situation um, I find myself in. My name is Noah. It's good to see you. We're going to do a life update. I'm going to be relatively vague because I, I just, I, I need some feedback from you guys as to what you really want to know, what you really want to hear. Uh, but that being said, the last time I saw you guys, I was feeling pretty desperate. And this is what I said. So guys, uh, inpatient rehab treatment is 100% on the table. And when I said that, I meant it. Like, I want you to know sincerely, as, as much as I can be honest with myself and with others, I meant it when I said inpatient rehab was on the table. Some of you know my story. This is a reoccurring theme. And so, when I recorded that video, I was like determined, like, okay, I'm gonna put that over my head. If I screw this up, so to speak, then inpatient I go. And then 12, 13 days later, I drank again. And if you don't understand what's going on, if you're like, dude, I don't subscribe to you for this, what, you drink, or you, you're you sober, you're not sober, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the nutshell is that I've been battling alcohol and getting sober off and on since I was like 19, and then this channel, I've sort of had my ups and downs with it as well. I'm like Noah who's drinking, struggling a bit, relapsing, and then I'm sober Noah, and I just try to do as much good in between all of that as I can with TRT, fitness, mental health, addiction, motivation, and just sort of like speaking to my life experience. That's the nutshell. And after getting about a year, not about a year, after getting a year of being sober and in recovery, I drank again at the end of last April, and then this last July, I drank and woke up with a horrible burning pain in my stomach right about here, which still remains. And that sort of sparked the beginning of the end of this run. And I think in like September-ish, maybe October, I was like, fuck, I just freaked out. I sounded the alarms. It's so deja vu, it hurts. I'm like a parody of myself at this point. And I started telling everyone I need to get sober. And I told you guys I need to get sober. And I freaked out because I didn't know if I had a stomach ulcer. I didn't know what was going on, but I knew that I wasn't doing what needed to be done to make sure my stomach healed and I spooked myself and, and I was running from the fire. But then I just kept drinking anyway. And I got concerned and I got spooked, even more spooked and had visits. And then I found out that it wasn't an ulcer. In fact, I found out there's basically no inflammation in my stomach. I found out my pancreas seems to be working fine. They did ultrasounds on all my internal organs and everything looks good. And then it brought me back to the whole, well, are you really trying to get sober thing? And I'm like, yes, yes, me speaking to myself, I'm better off sober. I can't see myself being a dad unless I'm sober. I can't see myself having a, a, a good experience online with you guys unless I'm sober and kind of pushing this to, to wherever it may go. I certainly can't be the best coach in CrossFit, the best husband for my wife, uh, the best son for my parents, the best brother to my siblings, all those things. I kind of inherently believe that. And, and the quest to get sober was on, but the harder, I fought to get sober, like the more I drank and the worse I felt about it and the more dark and lonely I felt and, and the more crazy I assumed I seemed, particularly to anyone who doesn't specifically know much about how addiction works. Anyway, so I recorded that video being like, okay, you know what? Rehab. Sorry for the long-winded recap, but uh, I thought rehab was going to be enough to get me sober. The idea of leaving my home, which we are in right now, for this lighting is super ominous and weird. It's not actually that dark in here. There's a Christmas tree back there. But I was like, rehab will be just the ticket because I can't seem to get sober for anything else. And of course I understand intuitively, I have to get sober for myself. Well, 12, 13 days went by and I drank again and guess what? I woke up and I knew in my heart I wasn't going to rehab. I knew it. It's like, damn. It's kind of like, uh, well, this is a smaller example, but you know when you don't know what you want to do, say, hey, do you want to go to this place or that place tonight? This restaurant or that restaurant? Do you want to go to this ball game or this event? And you flip a coin and the coin lands on the side that you genuinely realize you didn't want to after it's already chosen for you. That's sort of how the rehab thing was once I woke up. 
And that put me in a weird space and it's kept me in that weird space till right now. It's not that that space isn't entirely gone, uh, the weird aspect of it, but I don't know how much longer I can go without at least touching base with you once. So I told myself, okay, uh, I'm not ready for rehab, but I believe I can still get sober. I will not make another video until I get 30 days, but I can't seem to get more than a few days. And I just am coming to the conclusion that I'm just not ready yet. Now the fear, the fear of course for me is that it will take something a little more devastating, a little more massive, a major health crisis, life crisis, mental health crisis, physical crisis, relation, some crisis to get me sober. I am working on the willingness to not let that be the case. The pick your own bottom route sounds better to me. But that, but either way, I, I just don't seem to be ready. And I'm trying to be ready. I'm trying to be ready because in my heart of hearts, um, I, can, I still can't see any long-term peace and usefulness and, and success as a drinker. So it's a, it's a weird dichotomy and there is some cognitive dissonance, that's for sure. And I've learned a lot over these last 35 days and there's a lot I could tell. There's a lot I could tell. Um, I've, I've, I have some updates about my fitness, my TRT, some crazy interesting things that have been happening with my wife, my stomach, which hasn't healed yet because I won't let it. Um, there's a lot I could say, but the bottom line is it appears I'm not ready. Despite all the meetings I've gone to, I've read three books since I've seen you guys, all addiction and alcohol related and recovery related, endless podcasts. You know, I'm trying to be ready, but I'm not. And I have to come to terms with that, at least in some way, shape, or form, lest I implode under my own created pressure. If I'm not ready, then where do we go from here? How do we continue to inch towards that willingness to change without desecrating myself and hating myself and just being caught in a perpetual cycle of self-loathing? That's sort of where I'm at right now. And, and as it pertains to you guys, wh where do I fit in online for, for my YouTube family, for you guys. I mean, I don't want to drag you through this drama and, and I don't want to, I don't want to magnify it and, and create a weird thing where every other video we're just wondering if Noah's a mess or Noah's hopeful. I, I don't, I don't want to do that. I've got to bring this whole thing a little more to the chest. I'd be a little more dignified about it, I think. And it's not that I want to lie, I just, I don't feel like you guys need to see that. And so the, the, the question remains, do I have a place right now on this platform? I want to, but I just don't know, do I? I mean, what are some things I could offer my TRT community? Should I focus more on that? Should I just focus more on fitness videos and, and some more lighthearted topics and kind of leave this internal battle I've got going on with drinking a little bit to the side? Is it all kind of horse shit without addressing it? I don't know. And uh, I mean that when I ask you for your feedback. And so before I start just going off in a million tangents, because I could, there's a lot of things on my mind. It's strange not talking to you guys. We're gonna do it like this. If you made it this far in the video, I want you to put in all caps, made it. M-A-D-E space I-T, made it. And if you'd like, I want you to ask me any questions you could possibly think of about whatever you might want to hear me talk about, whether it's my personal life or my thoughts on whatever. I think, in other words, a Q&A perhaps is a good way to gauge what we should do right now as a YouTube community, given the fact that I had this vision of myself coming back to you guys 30 days sober, and I'm into recovery, and I'm just thriving, and rah, and I'm not. Uh, yeah, so if that makes sense to you, put made it in all caps and then put a question down for me. Your questions and or topics will be prioritized because you made it to the end of the video and, and why not? And just know that, um, that I appreciate you guys. I, I miss you guys a lot. And uh, this isn't how I saw it going. I, I saw myself, um, you know, rising to the occasion and really attaching myself and tethering myself to all these wonderful reasons I have to stop drinking. I did, 
I've got I've got Jesse. I've got my fitness. I've got my family. I've got uh, my self growth. I've got I just I've got my business. I have so many reasons to get sober. So I thought I thought those would be enough for right now, and, and this pain in my stomach. And I thought that I'd come back to you, um, this certain version of myself, and then just not there. <laughs> you make plans. You make plans. I certainly had good intentions, but. The whole walking around with my head down thing, uh, it has to stop. I've got to find ways to be useful anyway. Um, my wife has really empowered me to not be ashamed, not hide, and, and to keep me safe. I've got so, so many things I could say. We'll leave it for, here for now. It's good to be back. I hope to stay back if we can find some sort of formula or system to where I'm not triggering people exclusively or becoming just like a self-perpetuating drama channel. Take good care. I hope you're staying brave in whatever you're facing. I hope that you know, or hope, just I want you to believe that I do think this is gonna be okay, particularly with this action plan my wife and I put together to keep me safe. And, uh, and I think I'll figure this out. I just don't know exactly how or when or what that will look like. And, um, and if you're in a similar space, I think you can agree that it's important to find ways to love yourself anyway, because uh, I still need me and you still need you and, um, and we need each other and we need to accept each other. And now I'm officially ranting. We'll see you guys in the next video. Drop me those questions with made it. If you made it this far, remember made it in caps. And then if you don't have a question, but you see one with that, like up the ones that make sense to you and let's reconnect, let's get real, let's talk about whatever you wanna talk about, okay? And to my TRT community, cause I know that you're there, uh, drop you whatever topics you want there too. I've, I've got plenty I could say on that. Uh, anyway, I did it, <laughs> I did it.